uh, one would uh, never suspect that a spy might live here. Bob Wallace spent 33 years at the CIA. Do we really know who our neighbors are? And uh, the answer is usually not. Walking the streets of D.C., he says, they're all around us. Locations where spies lived, worked, held secret meetings, and conducted dead drops. I think it's about 100% certain that there is a spy site in your neighborhood. Somewhere in our area. Somewhere in your neighborhood. You, you can walk to it. You can walk to I it. I can assure you, you can walk to it. Wallace has a new book out detailing hundreds of spy sites across our region that you can visit. He took us to this house on Fort Sumner Drive in Bethesda. In December of 1976, a retired CIA employee, Edwin Moore, called this home. He decided to go to the other side. It turned out Moore had stolen enough classified documents to fill several boxes, and then he tried to sell them to the Soviets. He wrapped up a sample of the secret documents with a note and threw the bundle over the fence of the Soviet embassy, which is now the Russian ambassador's home. A security guard at the embassy found the package and called DC police, fearing it was a bomb. They uh, come, they retrieve the package, they determine that it isn't a bomb. Uh, they open the package and uh, some very alert police officer in Washington said, hmm, I think the FBI might be interested in this. And in fact, they were. Moore's note instructed the Soviets to deliver $3,000 in cash to a dead drop location by a fire hydrant right across the street from his house. And that's just what an undercover FBI agent did. He's arrested, uh, he's tried, he's convicted, he's sentenced to 15 years in prison, and uh, then subsequently paroled, released after about three years. Now, while Edwin Moore's story begins and ends right here in Bethesda, remember that security guard who found the package that he threw over the fence? Well, it turns out he was KGB, and he's got a completely different story that we pick up in Georgetown. I'll have that part of the story tonight at 11. In Bethesda, Mark Seagraves, News 4.